What up, Doe Connors? With part one basically done on this Turles celebration, we are just waiting for something to come up during part two. I know we do have chain battle coming up, so to be fair, we are not completely done with part one, but basically this isn't, you know, this is just a passive event that we'll be carrying on from part one into part two, so we want to know what's coming up next. Now, I know that things have been a little bit slow on Dokkan. This is typically how things go. This is not a sign that Dokkan is dying. This is just simply how things usually go because with seemingly back-to-back -back major celebrations, whether you're a whale or a moderate spender or you even care about Dokkan, this is where the intrigue lies. This is not where the intrigue lies. So after these big celebrations, things tend to simmer down and then things start to ramp back up a little bit for the thank you celebration. And then as we get closer to the holidays, things start to pick back up again because then we get closer to JP's anniversary and with JP's anniversary now seemingly going to eventually become Globals as well, there's a little bit more intrigue for that. So that is where people should be focusing. So right now, because, you know, people aren't as active in the game, it doesn't mean that the game is dying. It just means that people are resting, recovering, hibernating until things pick back up. When is this Snooze Fest going to be dropping? Well, this unit's going to be dropping most likely on the 19th, which is basically two weeks after the start of part one, which is typically the golden rule. So for those of you who are new to the scene, how are you able to predict when these different celebrations drop to? It's simple. Every celebration is essentially two weeks, give or take a day or two. Sometimes it could be two weeks on the dot. Sometimes it could be two weeks in a day. Sometimes it could be one or two days less than two weeks. But more often than not, it is basically averaging out to two weeks. So it even shows in the login, uh, or not the login, but in the campaign details here, it shows when exactly this will be ending. So from the 4th at 5 p.m., which is my reset in my time zone, on your time zone, it'll show you exactly what it is. Until the 19th at 4.59, which is one minute before reset, that is when part one will continue. After this one minute is up and we go into 5 p.m. on October 19th, that is when part two starts. And that is when, I think that very night, that will be when the part two banner releases for Goku. So also th one thing to sort of internalize if you guys are new to this, when it comes to a unit's release, that's day zero, right? That's the, that's the day that the unit comes out. The first day prior, so negative one, the first day before, that's when we get the data download, typically. And then two days before the day's, the banner's release, which is a day earlier than the data download, we get the Twitter animations, the Twitter reveal. So for the part two LR Spirit Bomb Goku, when can we expect the animations? We can probably expect it sometime around October 17th, give or take. Could it happen at that date? Yes. Could it also not happen on that date? Yes. Dokkan has proven that it is on drugs and it likes to do things very unpredictably so. So if I'm wrong, that's not me, that's Dokkan. It is a little bit me, but it's mainly Dokkan. So looking back at the last couple of years, let's see how this pattern has held. Also, I do want to point out that looking back at last year, we got a, uh, well, we already had a producer's letter in the form of the video, but we got a worldwide download survey. We haven't yet had that. JP had it. Did Global get one? I don't think Global got one yet. So I'm actually thinking that by the time we get closer to part two, or maybe when we actually get to part two, we'll get that worldwide survey. That's going to be very important because JP players already filled it out. Global players need to do the same thing. So I really hope that we get that. But this is um, this is the breakdown for last year. This is what we had last year, October-ish 2022. And then looking at this, October 16th was when we got the part two banner, which is a big surprise considering that part one started on October 4th. So this was actually a major cluster F for global players because in the span of one month, we had four major banners, four. Now, just remember what I told you at the beginning of this video, every two weeks is when we go from part one to part two or so on and so forth. So to sit here and say that in three weeks span or basically one month, we had four banners, that's kind of insane. Pan started things out last year on October 4th. That went for 15 days, which is basically two weeks. But before the 15 days were up, we thought, then got a premature second banner, the part two banner, for the Peppy Gals. So this dropped on the 17th, or basically the 16th. And then three days after that, we got the Halloween banner, because let's not forget, Halloween is coming up. And last year, the banner dropped 10 days before Halloween itself, whereas in years past, Halloween typically drops a few days before Halloween itself. So... Last year was a bit of an anomaly. I always say this in my videos whenever I'm looking back at things because the more representative blueprint for how things are going to be happening in year eight is actually year six, not year seven. Year seven was crazy for, for good reasons, but still crazy. So we had the Halloween banner return 
And this is the first time that the Saiyan Day unit from that year early on returned. So global players were quick to jump on this one. This was a bit of a trap because of that fact. That was the first uh, time Majin Vegeta had returned. And then a week later, the Gamma units came out. Now, this is not definitely not going to be happening this year because we don't have any sort of movie integration celebration happening. And of course, the major question is going to be the Halloween banner itself. When is this going to release? I do not think that this year it's going to be releasing on the 20th because, again, we have to give ourselves a little bit of a buffer here. How I project this to play out is after two weeks, we start part two. And then a week into part two, as a bridge between part two of this celebration going into thank you, that is when the Halloween banner will continue. The Halloween banner will then drop, and I think that this will not adhere to the format that was established last year, but instead go back to the previous year, which we'll talk about in a second. So that will drop on the 27th. So as far as animations and everything go, we would expect the Goku around the 17th. I don't think we would get any sort of, well, there wouldn't be any animations for sure, because this is not going to give us a new unit. It's just going to be older units, but this would drop around the 27th. Maybe we get, when does actually the Halloween celebration start? Well, we'll, we'll go and look back at year six. So this is what happened in year seven. Now let's go back to year six. Oh yeah, the animations for Fasha and Chilai dropped on the 15th, which was basically two days before their banners released. So this pretty much holds in line with that pattern that I mentioned. Oh yeah, Kawhi. Shout out to my boy Kawhi. He spearheaded this massive movement known as Fix the Friends System. So this was back in its heyday. It actually kind of got the message across. Yeah, Chilai was here uh, midnight, October 15th. So now looking back at year six, this is when we had the Dokkan Festival Kid Gohan from the Phantom Zone movie. And then part two was the LR Goku Piccolo. So let's look and see what the dates were for this. So the celebration for part two, actually for Halloween in year six, was October 20th. So basically when part two started for the LR, that's when part two started. Well, that's when the Halloween started. Let me actually find the part two details here. Part two. Oh, actually, we might just have to go back to part one and look for it. Okay, this is actually not the best place to do this. Let me go to the Dokkan Wiki instead. So yeah, this is part one. Kid Gohan dropped October 5th till October 20th. And then we went into part two. Um, yeah, we had the animations. Oh, the animations dropped the same day. So on midnight, uh, at midnight, October 20th, for me anyway, that's when the unit details came out. And then as the part two banner was starting, it was basically the end of the 20th. So it was like within a 24 hour window that we had the animations and the units released. See what I mean? This is exactly what I'm talking about. Dokkan's on drugs. When did part two start? Part two also started on the, oh wait, no, this is the Halloween celebration. Oh, part two was called the Halloween full of surprise thing. Oh, yes. Yes. So for last year, year seven, the Chilai Peppy Gals double raids was a part of the exciting autumn campaign. But then the Halloween celebration was separate because it had a major Dokkan festival unit, I guess, 200% there. So maybe they wanted to give it its own thing. So this year, I think that we will not be getting a separate one. Instead, I think we will get, we will resume the joint celebration where the Halloween one has the Halloween festivities and part two, sort of like how they did it in year six. So full of surprises, we'll get this same. This is what they always call it. Full of surprises. That's where the Goku Piccolo showed up. And then a week later, they got that random hodgepodge of Dokkan Festival Halloween banner. Now, this is a couple years old, mind you, but still, this is a pretty lame looking banner when you are a veteran Dokkan or looking at this. If you're brand new, this could be very enticing because you may not know better. And I will say that Tech Ultimate Gohan, in my opinion, is still one of the best starting units to have just in general. He's a very reliable unit. But still, I think we're going to get something more akin to this. I do not think that the God Goku is going to come back. I think with the God Goku now being set to drop with the androids and with the androids, in my opinion, still being set for the early winter slot, I think after we finish the thank you celebration, after we finish the Dragon Ball Hero celebration and all of the Halloween stuff, that is when we're going to go into the early holiday season, being able to pick up the God Goku with coins and then the eight-year anniversary LRs with coins soon after. That's how I think this is going to play out. Of course, I could be wrong, which has happened many times. So if you still think that Halloween is going to give us the God Goku, feel free to think that. I just don't think that we're going to be getting the year seven format. We haven't for other things this year. Based on how it happened in year seven, it didn't play out the same way. So I think once again, for Halloween, we will be going back to this one. And I think that this would be better because... 
I don't want there to be another banner that drops that is enticing players to spend more stones because we still don't know how the whole full synchro thing is going to play out. Don't forget, more important than anything else that I mentioned in this video is that eventually Global and JP are going to be in full synchro. Whenever that happens, that is going to be when you want to be ready to summon at the drop of a hat. Obviously, that's not going to be possible all the time because that means you're a whale and most of you are not. But being aware and at least having a good buffer's worth of stones to be ready for whatever that is, that's more important. I don't want people to fall victim to a full of surprises, stupid Dokkan Festival banner here or, you know, summoning on the Spirit Bomb. You know what? I, this is also going to be a bummer. This is going to be the first time that they drop that new pity system. So we don't know exactly how it's going to work. We know that there is going to be a pity system implemented on this Goku banner. There's also going to be the new update where F, I think for the first seven rounds, every three multis, you get a guaranteed featured SSR summon on the third multi or something like that. So they're going to be implementing those little tactics to try to get you guys to summon. But in spite of all of that, the fact that this Goku is the part two banner, I think still makes this banner a non-summon. We're not going to go into more detail than that. I'll save that for another video. But, you know, there, there's all of these weird shenanigans that are going to start taking place as we manifest this global JP full synchro. So be on your toes. Be ready. Don't fall victim to all these different summons. Instead, just go with the flow. Go through all the content and have fun. We're going to have a cool new what if unit coming up during this Halloween. I'm telling you right now, we're going to get it. Last year's Halloween unit was the was the high Deborah. This guy was not a what if. He actually was straight from Dragon Ball. Although, technically speaking, some people don't consider this canon, which I think is stupid, but whatever. I'm not going to go off on that tangent here. The year prior, I think we did have Hachan and Android 17 as the Halloween unit. That was definitely a what if because we never had that scenario happen. We've also had Grandpa Gohan and Pan together. That could never happen. So, and now, you know, with them very much willing to do what if characters on the grander scale, like a worldwide download celebration and quest mode, who knows what they're going to be giving us for this year's Halloween. That's your subscriber challenge for today's video. As we wrap this up, let me know what is your pick for a cool Halloween what if pair unit. It has to be a pair, not just one unit. It's got to be a pair. So I don't know. Zarbon and Vegeta working together or Bulma and I don't know Demon King Pickle I don't know whatever come up with something and let me know that's gonna be it guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like down below let me know the comments your thoughts on all of the events coming up are you looking forward to anything in particular during part two and during the Halloween festivities do you think that the Super Saiyan God is gonna be coming back on global during the Halloween banner or do you think that the Super Saiyan God will only return with the Androids Dokkan Festival that JP received, which could be dropping early December. Let me know your thoughts overall in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more Dokkan content in the future and click the notification bell so that you literally know you're going to see more of my stuff. Do it! My music is running out. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Stay tuned and always remember to Dokkan responsibly.